This might be one of the strangest stories I've covered in 2023, and I've covered a lot of strange stories, but obviously, we're talking about the PlayStation 5 today. I'm not a PlayStation hater or anything like that, but when it was brought to my attention that this was a case that was happening, I almost didn't believe it. Someone I know, I've known for a while, named Justin, reached out to me on Facebook and was like, yo, have you seen this story? And I was like, there, there's no way that this is true, but... In actuality, it, it, it is true. It's a it's a almost legally binding sort of situation that we have here where it's illegal to sell your PlayStation 5 games. If you buy a PlayStation 5 game, you own that game physically, and you decide to sell it, like resell it or sell it to someone else, that's illegal. That is a breach of your terms of services with the PlayStation 5. I'm dead serious, folks, so let's just hop straight into this now. Over here, we are on the European website for PlayStation. Now, I understand that Europe is different than it is in America as far as different things are concerned or what have you, as far as like laws, technology, all that sort of stuff. But still, this, this is a big deal. So this is over on their official website for software usage terms. When you scroll down through it, you can see here united kingdom all that sort of stuff the terms that are the terminology that's used in here for all of their playstation systems including playstation 5 so this is updated literature this isn't outdated by any means or anything like that basically what the different terms are and it tells you the different software usage terms that apply this that includes all of the purchases on authorized systems it includes playstation now all that sort of stuff when you purchase software you grant a light you grant a license to use that software as used in these terms but does not acquire ownership of the software we've heard that time and time again now, here is where it says software is published and licensed to you by us or software is published and licensed to you by other companies talking about physical goods for software on a physical disc, such as a Blu-ray disc, uh, DVD or PlayStation Vita card. So this is just this is talking about all forms of games purchased for your PlayStation 5 or I guess retrospectively your your PlayStation 4 here and when you scroll down here you know legal mumbo jumbo uh you know you can't emulate the software you can't emulate this that or the other basic stuff here but here's where things get ridiculous you must not resell either disc based games or digital games unless expressly authorized by us and if the publisher is another company additionally by the publisher let's zoom in on that a little bit shall we just in case you might be hard of seeing or something like that you must not resell either disc based games or digital games unless expressly authorized by us and if the publisher is another company additionally by the publisher it's exactly what it says it is you're not allowed to resell your playstation 5 games can't do it it's against the terms of service for the software that you have purchased because you don't own that software you are licensed that software that is a whole thing for another day when we talk about the rise of digital games and all that sort of stuff but i'm sitting there i'm reading this and i'm like okay th th there's no way in hell that that is actually what it says it is there, there, there that must just be some sort of thing that they have to do in europe okay it must just be some sort of law that went into place based on something this that or the other i don't know but it must be abroad for all video game companies it must just have been something that was tied up in litigation so i did some research here we have the Nintendo account agreement, which covers everything involved in Nintendo. And I have researched this. I have looked through all of this stuff with Nintendo account, use of your account, user generated stuff, the code of conduct, background features for your account, Nintendo's intellectual property, all sorts of stuff based on governing law, customer support, digital products, everything. It's basically encompassing everything that involves with Nintendo stuff, shopping services, defects payment methods whatever it could be it is involved in this cancellation form as the agreement that you basically venture into when you are playing a nintendo game and there's absolutely nothing about not being able to resell your games anywhere in any sort of documents that i have found for nintendo of europe so it's not just a regional thing then 
it seems like it's just a PlayStation thing. I, I'm almost at a loss for words here. First and foremost, how do you enforce this? How do you, how do you enforce this? Do you, do you scroll through Facebook Marketplace? Do they have Craigslist in the UK? My blokes, let me know in the comments down below. You scroll through Craigslist, you're like, that son of a bitch is selling demon souls on the PlayStation 5. We got to take him down. He's in violation of his terms of agreement. Do you go to retro game stores like CEX in, in Europe and you're like, hey, you guys got any PlayStation 5 games here? If you do, we're shutting you down because these cannot be resold. Like, how, I, how, how have we gotten to a point with this? where this is a thing and it doesn't seem like a regional thing which almost leads me to believe that this could trickle into other regions as well because you might be sitting there saying well rgt i don't live in europe i live in the good old us of a or some other place i don't have to worry about that is that the case because it doesn't seem like this is a regional thing because of the fact that other companies in that same region do not adhere to those restrictions such as nintendo they don't say anything about you not being able to resell your games. It's only PlayStation. It's only Sony where you literally cannot resell your games that you have purchased or else you're violating the terms of services. I don't understand how this became a thing. I don't understand who at Sony thought, hey, you know, you know what? This is a good idea. We can keep this is like the, 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 the video game stuff when stuff started going to rental stores. And video game rental stores were a thing so developers would make their games extremely hard so that you couldn't beat them in two or three nights you had to purchase it and master the game in order to to you know really get far into the game during the nes era this is a very scary thing because when you get into the whole digital ownership thing we've seen movies we've seen tv shows we've seen video games be removed from you because of licensing stuff be removed from stores and then people wonder why I preach about emulation because emulation is preserving these games that these companies are taking away from you for whatever the case may be. But how is it going to be in the future now? The deeper we get into technological advances with these systems, the harder it is going to be to emulate these games. So if these games don't also come to PC, they might be lost to the sands of time. At least we have Nintendo where you can emulate their new system on a, on a decent built PC. But I just found this to be absolutely bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. That Sony is literally saying it is illegal to resell PlayStation 5 games that you have purchased, even physical games. If you want to talk about digital, that's fine. Even though digital should have a way to be able to sell those games because you still purchase them. Why isn't there a third-party digital marketplace? You know, maybe that's something that will end up happening in the future. I highly doubt it because these video game companies or these console companies, I should say, would immediately shut that down so they can reap all the benefits from it. But to say it about your physical games too? I don't know, man. I don't know. I need my blokes to come out for this. I don't know what 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 a term for English women is either. So, blokes, let me know what you call your ladies. Lasses? Is it lasses? It might be lasses. Blokes and lasses, let me know in the comments section down below. Is this the first you've heard of it? And you American swine, such as myself or people in other regions, are you afraid that this might somehow impact your region? How do you enforce? This is the stupidest thing in the world. How do you enforce it? If you can't enforce it, why is it a rule? If it is a rule, what's the point of it? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just wanted to talk about this, though. Shout out to Justin for bringing this to my attention. Let me know your thoughts of it in the comment section down below because it's all there. Black and white clear as crystal, folks. You read it just as I read it. You saw it just as I saw it. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're getting closer and closer to 500K ready to hit that milestone. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.